good evening friends what's up today i thought of sharing you about an interesting indicator adx dmi indicator this indicator will help you in your trading decisions without much delay let's go into detail what this indicator is all about so this is the indicator this is uh, i captured the screenshot for spy you see the price action in the top portion and in the bottom portion you see the adx and dmi indicator this green line and red line green line is dm plus and red line is dm minus together this is called as dmi indicator directional movement indicator and this blue line is derived using this green and red line and this blue line is called as adx indicator all right so what is the significant of this indicator how can we take de trading decisions based on this indicator first we'll try to understand what each line represent how to compute each line not really required when we access this indicator using investing.com it automatically calculates but to our knowledge we need to deep dive and see how they are calculating so that we can play around and use or leverage this indicator in our trading decisions the first one how the dm plus and dm minus is calculated for example if today's candle low is lower than yesterday's candle low this figure the difference is opposition to dm minus if today's high is greater than yesterday candles high the difference of two highs are opposition to dm plus and if today's candle is within the range of yesterday's candle then we assume then there is no dm no the no value is opposition to either dm plus or dm minus if today's candle is out of the range of yesterday's candle then we ca compute dm minus and dm plus and will take only the number which is larger here in this case dm minus is larger than dm plus so we apportion that we consider only dm minus now we have dm plus and dm minus dm uh, minus yeah now we calculate the average for a specific number of days in this normally this indicator the average is calculated for 14 days so for example let's take how this dm plus is cal calculated dm plus is what this green line how this green line is calculated we take the average of dm plus for 14 days and we find the ratio between dm plus and atr atr is the expand is the uh, abbreviation for average true range what is the speciality of the of that indicator that indicator will helps us to measure the volatility volatility means, means what the movement of price from the lowest point to highest point point for any single day or for any given period okay so when we take the ratio we'll get this green line then how this red line is calculated we take the average of dm minus for past 14 days and we do the ratio of dm minus with average true range we'll derive this red line now we know how we derive the green line and we know how we derive the red line so that is what i mentioned here constructing directional movement indicators dm plus is the ratio between the smooth smooth means what average average of dm plus and true range average true range and dm minus is the ratio between the smooth dm minus and average true range now we know now, now we know how to compute dm plus and we know how to compute dm minus right now the next thing is the blue line the blue line is what 
average directional index. It's the combination we derive using dm plus and dm minus. So dx is calculated by taking the absolute difference between the value of two dx. What are the two dx? dm plus and dm, dm minus and dividing it by the sum of two dx. Okay. So we, we arrive at a figure for one single day. If you do the moving average of that dx for any given period 14 days in our case, then we derive adx. Now we try to understand, now we know how to calculate, how to derive dm plus. Now we know how to derive dm minus and how to calculate or derive adx. Now the next thing is the climax of this video. How to interpret and trade using this indicator. Here in this three box I, I just highlighted to uh, better understand whenever this green line which is dm plus line is more than is above the red line then the assumption is the market is bullish okay see here D green line is above red line meaning more buying is happening so we can take a trade bullish trade okay again here for this is for spy and when the green line is above red line we can go for a bullish trade okay similarly one more example green line is above red line we can go for a bullish trade this is the current screenshot so right now the red line is little bit it's it's sideways range bound so when the green line goes above red line we can take a trade right now now when when i say green line is above red line we can go for a buy that's in case of bullish trend in case of bearish trend when the red line is above green we can go for a sell right that is what uh, bearish means right to prof to profit in a bearish trend what should we do sell to profit in a bullish trend what should we do buy right now we understood what is dm plus and dm minus right what is the significance of this green line and what is the significance of this red line now this adx line what is the significance of this adx line this adx line adx is when adx is rising trend is increasing when adx is downward moving downwards trend is dormant ADX measures the strength. Here, blue line, ADX line is below these two lines. What does it mean? The trend is dormant. It's not trending. Okay. Similarly, here, the ADX line is below these two lines. Meaning what? The strength, the trend, its market is not trending, dormant. The, the power, the strength of the green line is much lower. Right? Here, ADX is above the two line. What does it mean? The strength and the red line, DM negative is above DM positive. What does it mean? The strength of this red line is more. So this blue line, ADX line will tell us what is the strength of the line which is in the, which is, which is dominant. If green is above red, the market is bullish. And if this blue line is above these two lines, then we can assume the market is trending more powerful bulls are more powerful right hope you understand now how to trade using this blue line when the blue line is below the two line two lines the assumption is market is dormant okay bull is not ferocious right in this case so in that the situation we should enter the trade in the current market see the adx is much below 
the bulls are not very powerful right it is bullish but still it is not powerful in that situation we need to enter the trade so that we can ride the bull so that whenever market comes down it tends to go up right whenever market is above up above then it tends to come down so whenever there is a peak we assume the strength reach the strength of the trend reaches the maximum potential now it's about to come down whenever it reaches the troughs the strength of the market is the strength of the particular trend is pretty low now the strength is about to rise up higher so now in this situation now we are in the, in the, this is a present market if green goes up then we can assume it will be bullish if the red goes up then we can assume and the adx line trends upper then we assume the bears are growing stronger hope i explained you hope you understood as well thanks for listening will i'll cover up some more session some more interesting concepts in my next videos please consider subscri subscribing my channel and like my videos too thank you friends thanks for your time bye bye